Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. I've done a few videos on the rule changes for the 2022-2023 season. I've covered the new rules for US figure skating. Then I did an overview of the new ISU rules. Many of you had questions about the IJS rules, so I did a deep dive into spins. Today, I'm answering some of your questions and concerns about components. Before I get into it, I wanna remind you that while I am a PSA ranked and rated coach, I am not an official spokesperson for US figure skating, the ISU, or PSA. My interest is from a coaching standpoint. As a coach, I'm responsible for knowing the rules of the sport so that I can work with them when creating competitive programs for my skaters. These rules may be interpreted differently. This is only my understanding of the rules. So with all that out of the way, let's look at the new components. Competitive figure skating programs must allow for the execution of elements while performing a program for the best overall result. Component marks are a critical part of that score. We used to have five components, skating skills, transitions, performance, composition, and interpretation of the music or timing for ice dance. Now we only have three components. If you're unfamiliar with IJS, it was developed as a collaborative global effort to produce a scoring system that provides a precise, transparent evaluation of a competitive program's technical and artistic aspects. In scoring a competitive figure skaters program, the marks are divided into two basic categories, the technical element score for the feats of athleticism and the program components, reflecting different artistic aspects. These two categories of scoring are independent from each other. A given program may garner high component marks, but a lower score for technical ability. Likewise, component scores can be low, with higher scores for technical prowess. Additionally, grade of execution scores, or GOE, will generally vary from element to element, and component scores will differ from one component to the next. All scoring is relative to the actual performance. In the moment of competition. Scores for the same program by the same skater may differ considerably from one competition to another. The goal of a skating performance is seamless and meaningful movement adequately integrated and successfully fulfilling the required elements to music. These elements form the vital backbone of the program. Still, programs as a whole cannot be thoroughly evaluated without applying the components. In each segment of an event, the judges award separate program component scores on a scale of 0.25 to 10, with increments of 0.25 to express the program's overall presentation and artistic mastery. The components are scored in the short program and the free skate. Together, the scores of the components are used in a formula to make up the program component score, or PCS. Let's look at each component, starting with skating skills. The old definition of skating skills was overall cleanness and sureness, edge control and flow over the ice surface, demonstrated by a command of the skating vocabulary, edges, steps, turns, etc. The clarity of technique and the use of effortless power to accelerate and vary speed. The old criteria were use of deep edges, steps and turns, balance, rhythmic knee action, and precision of foot placement, flow and glide, varied use of power, speed, and acceleration, use of multi-directional skating, use of one foot skating. The new focus of skating skills is the technique of skating and movement. The new definition is the ability of the skater to execute the skating repertoire of steps turns and skating movements with blade and body control. I like what they did here. There's enough room for skating skills to incorporate transitions. Let's look at the definition of transitions that was previously used. Transitions were defined as the varied and or intricate footwork, positions, movements, and holds that link the elements. The criteria for transitions was continuity of movements from one element to another, variety, including a variety of holds and ice dance, difficulty, and quality. Let's look at the new criteria for skating skills. Variety of edges, steps, turns, movements, and directions, clarity of edges, steps, turns, and movements, and body control, balance and glide, flow, power, and speed. Now, rather than just 
asking for deep edges, steps, and turns. They require you as a skater to perform more variety with other movements and multiple directions. This was absorbed from transitions. But what does it mean exactly? Variety of edges, steps, turns, movements, and directions. This is diversity in using edges, steps, turns, body movements, and skating direction. Forward, backward, clockwise, and counterclockwise. Variety means an assortment or the state of having many different things. An example of variety is when you have purple flowers, blue flowers, green flowers, and flowers of a whole bunch of other colors. Variety is quantifiable. You can have a little or a small variety. You can also have a ton of variety. You can use various edges, steps, turns, movements, and directions in skating. I have other videos that go into edges, steps, and turns. Watch those videos after you finished watching this video. There's a link to them in the description down below. Anyway, let's say you mostly skate counterclockwise in your program and use mostly backward crossovers, backward outside edges with some three turns and maybe some mohawks. Or you skate both counterclockwise and clockwise with forward inside and outside edges, swing rolls, exciting variations of spirals, choctaws, loops, rockers, counters, twizzles, unlisted jumps, difficult entries and exits into jumps and spins. That would be a wide variety. Clarity of edges, steps, turns, movements, and body control. This is your ability to execute each edge, step, turn, and body movement precisely and completely. Clarity is the quality and the precision of execution. Edges must be precise from the moment the blade touches the ice. Core control facilitates movement regardless of the plane. Instead of asking for quality, they're now looking for clarity. What's the difference? Clarity is the state or measure of being clear, while quality is an uncountable level of excellence. So in my mind, clarity is more black or white. Either it's clear or it's unclear. While quality can have levels that mean different things to different people. So with your edges, steps, turns, movements, and body control. Strive to be crystal clear with your precision. Make it evident that you have clarity. Think of clarity absorbing the third bullet, rhythmic knee action, and precision of foot placement. You cannot have clarity without precision and rhythmic knee action. Balance and glide is the ability of the blade to glide on the ice without friction. Equilibrium over the blade resulting in control of the blade and movement with a predominance of one foot skating. Speed is maintained because of balance, control, and lack of friction. Gliding on long, deep edges is more difficult than on short, flat edges. Flow is the ability of the whole body to move smoothly, harmoniously, and effortlessly, starting from a fluid knee ankle action. Fluid and effortless transition from one movement to another. Power and speed are your ability to display energy and speed when stepping from one foot to another. Think of dynamic stroking. Your ability to communicate the energy of the movement, acceleration, and deceleration, as well as the execution of the skating repertoire with speed and ease. Moving on to composition. This focuses on how your program is designed or built with regard to the music. It is defined as the intentional, developed, original arrangement of the repertoire of all types of movements into a meaningful whole according to the principles of proportion, unity, space, pattern, and musical structure. Unity is a coherent entity with all parts appropriately combined, contributing to a sense of completeness. In pair skating, ice dance, and synchronized skating, all skaters contribute to the purpose of the composition. Connections between and within elements. Elements must be fully connected with each other with varied, intricate body and skating movements, demonstrating a range of abilities without interruption of the flow of the movement. This includes changes in holds, movement type, and duration. A unit of movement is a block, element, movements, element. The element becomes part of the flow of the movement. Pattern and ice coverage are interesting and creative placements of units of movement on the ice. The design of your program and its layout covering the entire ice surface. In pair skating, ice dance, and synchro, all skaters do contribute to creating an interesting pattern. For synchronized skating, this includes staying aligned and maintaining symmetry. 
multi-directional movements, and use of space. This is fluid and controlled movements along or across different planes, high, medium, and low, and diagonal. The ability to use the space to creating an interesting design of movements. Choreography reflects musical phrase and form. Form refers to the structure and organization of a musical composition. A phrase is a unit of musical meter that has a complete musical sense of its own. Each unit of movement corresponds to musical phrase and form. The choreographic phrase follows the musical phrase, its beginning, climax, and end. Presentation. This focuses on how the program is performed in relation to the music. It demonstrates engagement, commitment, and involvement based on understanding the music and composition, expressiveness, and projection. This means that through the complete personal involvement in the program, you express and project a mood, feeling, image, rhythm, or style inspired by the musical selection and by the idea of the composition. Confident presentation of your body and energy to communicate a feeling. The ability to capture the audience and arouse their emotions. Variety and contrast of energy and movements. Introduction of a movement or different movements that can serve to intensify its meaning and underline an accent or a musical nuance. The force and motion should vary throughout your program. Musical sensitivity and timing are your ability to move accurately and consistently as required by the characteristics of the music and its elements. Melody, rhythm, harmony, tempo, dynamics, and articulation. Steps and movements follow the musical timing when clearly identifiable or required by the regulations or the specific style of dance. Finesse of movement demonstrates unappreciation of musical details, accents, and nuances. Appropriate and purposeful translation of the music into movements Unison, oneness, and awareness of space apply to pair skating, ice dance, and synchronized skating. It means performing as a unit, the ability of partners to interact in harmony for expressive purposes, with each demonstrating musical sensitivity. Each skater is responsible for performing the composition with equal ability and competency, an awareness of one and each other's bodies in space. You may notice some common threads that move across the chart. For example, multi-dimensional movements and the use of space are evident in composition. We see variety and contrast of energy and movement in the presentation component, and we see a variety of edges, steps, turns, movements, and directions in skating skills. Variety is really ever-present in all of these components. You may remember I also talked quite a bit about variety in my video about the new spin requirements. So. Variety is your keyword for the 2022-2023 season. The judges and technical panel want to see you using more variety. What exactly does that mean? Variety is the quality or state of being different or diverse. The absence of uniformity, sameness, or monotony. Apply that to your skating. Strive to be different and unique. Avoid repetitive movements. How is your program component score calculated? The PCS is calculated and factored by specified percentages. For junior and senior, the ISU has each program component at 33 and a third. Technical notification 283 was posted on July 7th. It outlines the general component factors for junior and senior in the United States in singles and pairs. It's important to point out the US computer system is transitioning. So until those computers are completely brought up to date, domestically, the components are valued at 33% each for junior and senior. That's a slight variance if you skate internationally. Your scores may differ slightly. The short program's general component was rounded to 1.7 from 1.67 for senior men and junior men. For athletes below junior, skating skills are the most crucial. At the novice level, skating skills are 40%. Presentation and composition are 30%. In the past, novice athletes have had varying program requirements. For example, novice men had to do more jumps than the novice women, but now men and women have the same number of elements. That means that the men's general component factor in novice has been modified to match the novice women. If you're a novice man 
and we're at that same level last season. You may see your program component score may appear to be reduced. Keep in mind that is only in comparison to the different factoring from last season. In intermediate, skating skills is 50%. Presentation is 25% and composition is 25%. Then in juvenile, skating skills are weighted at 60%. Presentation is 20% and composition is 20%. Here are the factors for all levels. The idea behind factoring is to make the program component score equal in weight to the technical element score or TES. Totaling the competition score, the technical element score is added to the program component score to get your total segment score or TSS. At the end of the competition, the skater is given a scoring sheet that we call a protocol, detailing the evaluation result of each aspect of the program. This protocol provides all the details of the technical elements, as well as each of the program components. It's essential to note that the judges will evaluate serious errors and their impact on the program components. Suppose there are multiple errors or even just one error in the program. In that case, judges are mandated to reflect that in the program components. These errors have an impact on the fluidity and continuity of the program. The consequence depends on the severity and impact. If a program contains one serious error, each component's maximum score is 9.5, but the whole program must still be deemed excellent. If a program includes two or more serious errors, each component's maximum score is 8.75. Similar limitations must be applied to all levels of skaters, from extremely poor to outstanding. Several criteria must be considered before a judge assesses a component score. Each judge will often come to this score by a different path in that each performance being evaluated is different. Remember, Judges assess and weigh the overall criteria for each component. It's common to have one or more components significantly different in terms of their mark. Movement and how it occurs is critical to every component. Repetitive motion or movement that frequently disconnects from the music can also become tiresome to the judges and the audience. Putting the time into developing the criteria for your program components is one of the very best investments that you can make in your skating. I'm doing a whole video where I'm examining IJS protocols from Excel Beginner and Excel High Beginner. Yes, there was a competition that actually used IJS at those levels. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so that you don't miss that video when I post it. You'll really see how the components can add up. Each component will provide you with artistic skills and understanding that will enrich all aspects of your skating. So make sure you have an excellent primary coach that is PSA ranked and rated and focuses on the quality of your skating skills. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with somebody else you think it could help. You know what? Just post it to your social media too. This is Amy. Thank you for watching. Happy skating. I will see you real soon. Bye. Rexy.